Hello everybody and welcome to my 61st VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to send emails through your uh, through Excel from your VBA editor. So this is really useful. Uh, the first thing you need to do is make sure you've got Outlook installed open uh, and with a email account active within it because otherwise you're not going to be able to send emails. Uh, and you also need to make sure that you go to tools and references make sure that ticked in your references is the Microsoft Outlook 15.2 object library because we're going to be using this library in order to send the emails uh, we're then going to jump straight in and reference that library so first of all we want to dim an Outlook uh, object uh, as Outlook, so this is the library and application. So that's just cre creating us uh, an application version of Outlook so we can connect to it. We then want to dim uh, M item as Outlook dot mail item. So that's creating us a uh, object that ha that is going to be our email. Uh, object and so this is going to be the email that we send so we have an outlet object to kind of control outlook and then a mail item uh, to control our email we're then going to set these up so set outlook object equals new outlook dot application and then set mail item equals outlook object dot create item open bracket ol mail item close bracket uh, notice here how we've created a new application here but then our mail item object we're creating an item within the Outlook object. So our mail item is linked into our Outlook application. So our mail will be sent through that Outlook application. Uh, we then uh, have the ability to do whatever we want with this mail item. So let's put with mail item, with um, item, end with. And then we want to put in dot two equals, and then this is the email address that you're sending to. So I'm going to send to Matthew Paul Sands at hotmail.co.uk. Uh, and then you want to put dot subject equals test subject, and then dot body equals and then this is some um, text in an email so obviously you probably want an actual email rather than just these test subject headings and some random text um, you can get these store them and get put use variables instead you can use references to cells on your spreadsheets uh, you can use import from input from user forms uh, if you're unsure how to do that, then you need to watch any of my previous 60 videos that kind of go through that part of VBA. Um, and then finally, we want to put a dot .display, uh, which is just going to open up our email for us. So if I press play now, then it's going to open up a new email in my Outlook. In, in my Outlook. Uh, send in it to myself with subject test subject and then in the body this is some um, text in an email you can either leave an edit of that for people to send themselves uh, or alternatively you don't need to put in display you can just put dot send uh, and then press play and it will come up with this dialog box uh, and that gives the, the user the ability to deny or allow the email. So if I press allow now, then it's going to send the email and it's not even going to come up. So if I go into my email account, uh, which probably notice isn't mostly 
uh, spam, as most people's are. Uh, and then is, I've sent myself an email saying, this is some text in an email with a subject text, test subject. Uh, so that is in essence how you send an email. Uh, if you want to know how to do some other things, then uh, if you press dot on your mail item, you can do dot cc to cc people in. Uh, you can do dot um, and then just look at different things. So you can flag requests. Uh, you can close down the email. Uh, you can do a put to deal with attachments which i'll come on to in the next tutorial uh and there's lots of different stuff you can do in there um so if you want to have a look around then don't let me stop you um but that's it on how you send an email uh next tutorial i'll show you how to send an attachment if you've got any questions on this then please drop them in the comments or go onto our forum that will be in the description below uh, and paste them there uh, that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope to catch you in the next tutorial when I show you how to use attachments.